This is 10 whiskeys that I think you should try before you die. Welcome to Bourbon and a Baby. My name is Jay. Max is not going to be joining us today because Max, even though he is super close to starting kindergarten, is still, if you can believe it, not old enough to drink bourbon. So I have been a little absent on the video making process for a while now, but I'm back, uh, kicking it back into gear, uh, and happy that you all were sticking around uh, with me uh, while I was taking a little break there. So 10 whiskeys I think you should try before you die. This is a, kind of an older challenge that had been going around uh, different whiskey tube channels. Uh, I think it was started about five years ago. Um, by Rob from Whiskey in the Six. Shout out to Rob. Um, and a lot of Whiskey Tube channels jumped on the bandwagon right off the bat. I did not. So I thought, you know what? Since I never made this video in the first place, what better time than now than to give you my 10 whiskeys that I think you should try before you die. Hopefully, you have a long time before you get there. Uh, so, uh, you know, we never know what tomorrow will bring, but hopefully, it'll bring more and more tomorrows for you and for, for everyone. So, 10 whiskeys to try before you die. There are a few rules. Um, I don't know that I stuck to every single rule that uh, Rob from Whiskey in the Six originally put out, but eh, rules are meant to be broken, right? All right, so let's jump right in. 10 whiskeys to try before you die. These are in no particular order, but uh, I'm gonna count them down as if they were in an order. So I'm gonna start with number 10. My number 10 whiskey that I think you should try before you die might be a little bit of a head scratcher. Um, and it also might be a little bit hard to obtain. So I've got a backup just in case you can't find it. But this bottle is Heaven Hills Six Year Bottled in Bond. This is um, usually had only been available in Kentucky. I think that's still the case. I think it's even less available than it used to be several years back. So a bit hard to find, but if you are traveling in Kentucky or you live there, um, definitely pick up a bottle of this. The beauty of this is that it's like 15 bucks uh, for a six year old Heaven Hill 100 proof bottle and bond product. Uh, and it is great. Uh, so I wanted to include it on this list because most people might think, you know, if you're telling me something that I should try before you die, before I die, uh, it might, should maybe be like a little bit more expensive, a little special, more, more special than a $15 bottle of whiskey. Um, forget all that. This is amazing. And this shows you, this is proof that you don't have to break the bank to drink good bourbon or whiskey. However, if you are unable to find that, um, I will throw out this as a backup. This is Evan Williams Bottled and Bond. Uh, same company, obviously Heaven Hill makes Evan Williams. Um, so uh, this just isn't six years old, um, but it's still 100 proof and it's still really, really good. So a little bit easier to find. Um, so that's my number 10 whiskey to try before you die. Number nine. My number nine whiskey is any Maker's Mark Private Selection. So those are gonna, they're gonna vary. They're gonna be different each one you get because they use the different stave profiles, so on and so forth. Not gonna get into explaining that whole process here in this video, but uh, I've never had a bad Maker's Mark Private Selection. Uh, cast strength, it's unique, it's different, it's really, really good. For number eight, this is kind of another open category. Um, I'm gonna show you one particular bottle, but uh, there are many others that could fit the mold. Uh, but I think you should try, uh, if you haven't already, that is what we call a Dusty. Uh, what is a Dusty? A Dusty is um, a bottle that is old, basically. Um, so this bottle in particular is an old granddad uh, 86 proof, I think. Yep, 86 proof. And I figure the closest I could come on age is it was like anywhere between 1979 and 1980 this was bottled and put on the shelf. Um, 
This one I got from my my wife's grandpa, shout out Frank, uh, for this. He thought it had been in his cabinet for like five years or ten years. Uh, turns out it was more like 30 or 40, but whatever. Uh, uh, so yeah, anything that's like no longer made, um, that is like over, let's say, you know, 20, 25 years old, um, uh, that, that, that is just vintage. Why? Why do I think you should drink a Dusty? Why should, why should you try it before you die? It's just different. It just tastes different. Um, I've, I have a video out there where I compared this to a, mo a modern day old granddad, uh, and it's, it's just super, super different. Before I go any further with the list, I want to give a shout out and a big thank you to the sponsor of today's video, which is Z-Biotics. As a parent of a five-year-old, um, as a person who is in my 40s, getting a little older, um, if I have a night out drinking, the next day, not always great, right? Because of that, usually that means you have to make a choice, right? Like, um, if you are going to go out and have a night, you know that that next day is not going to be very productive. But guess what? Now, I have Z-Biotics. Z-Biotics is uh, a pre-alcohol probiotic and is the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It was invented by PhD scientists to tackle rough mornings after drinking. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. It's this byproduct, not dehydration, that's to blame for your rough next day. Zbiotics produces an enzyme to break this byproduct down. Just remember to drink this probiotic before drinking alcohol, drink responsibly, and get a good night's sleep to feel your best tomorrow. And I can honestly say that there's no better way to enjoy my next morning than by having Zbiotics uh, before a uh, night of drinking. Make sure you go to zbiotics.com slash bourbon and a baby or scan the QR code on the screen right now to get 15% off your first order when you use bourbon and a baby at checkout. You can also sign up for a subscription using my code so that you can stay prepared no matter the time or occasion. Zbiotics is backed with a 100% money back guarantee. So if you're unsatisfied for any reason, they'll refund your money. No questions asked. How great is that? Thank you, Zbiotics, for sponsoring this episode and our good times. That's going to bring us to number seven on this list, which is W.B. Saffel. It is actually made by Wild Turkey um, at the Wild Turkey Distillery. Um, you get it in this nice little 375, 107 proof. It's a bit of a different profile than most wild turkey that products that you're used to, which is what's cool about it. A bourbon that I love is this Russell's Reserve 2002. Um, now this is like super rare, super hard to find. So once this is gone, um, I'm pretty sure that I will never be able to drink this again. The reason I bring this up is because this profile of this whiskey, a bit different than most other Russell's Reserves. Russell's uh, also made by Wild Turkey, for those that don't know. Um, this is the closest I've come to finding this same flavor profile. But yes, try this before you die. Six is Willet Rye. Willet Rye, a rye has entered the list. Um, I absolutely love this bottle. It's so good. Um, this one in particular, 103.6 proof. I love Will It Rise so much that it's what I have in my glass right now as I'm filming, filming this video. Um, it's so good. It's just such a exquisitely unique rye whiskey. For number five, I'm going with another broad category. Sue me. Don't actually... Um, but I would say try to find a, something, a bourbon or a rye in particular, um, that is at least 12 years old, um, maybe even older if you can. Uh, for example, I have this Calumet 15, uh, so this one is 15 years old, um, it's absolutely fantastic. Age isn't everything, you can get some excellent 
bourbons or whiskeys at a much younger age. Uh, I also have an older Knob Creek store pick here. This was picked by uh, the Renaissance of Tiffin. Um, this one was just shy, I think, of 14 years. Um, like maybe like 20 days shy of 14 years old or something. And it is legit amazing. For number four, I'm gonna go with an old favorite of um, bourbon lovers uh, in the know. And that is Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. And it comes in at Barrel Proof, so they range per batch, but um, per release that is. Uh, so this one in particular, is a 130.6 um, and you know they usually don't they're usually not too much lower than that so it's usually packing a huge punch um, but even at that high proof point it is relatively easy to drink it packs a lot of flavor you will never be disappointed in an Elijah Craig barrel proof so you, if you have not had one Try one before you die. My number three on this list is unfortunately a very limited edition, um, hard to find at this point, but I, I had to throw it on here because legitimately it is like top three of, it, of any whiskey that I've ever tried. And that's Wild Turkey Master's Keep Revival. Um, why Revival in particular? It legitimately tastes like um, an adult peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Like, it's nutty, but it's got like this 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 fruity uh, aspect to it. Um, it's just really, really good. Finished in Oloroso Sherry Cast, which is not something that Wild Turkey typically does. Try any Wild Turkey Master's Keep that you can, because you know it's gonna be good quality, and you know it's gonna taste Great. Number two on my list, I don't actually have a bottle of, uh, so maybe I will magically make one up here, over here, maybe over here. Who knows? Uh, but it is William LaRue Weller. The reason I put William LaRue Weller on this list is because I have only tried it one time, unfortunately, um, but to this day, I have not tasted a better bourbon. It is literally the best bourbon I've ever tasted. Don't die, in general, don't die. But don't die without first having tried William the Weller. And for number one, and I think this is probably the most important thing, at least on my list, go to a bourbon bar, find a pour of something that you've never had before, that you've always wanted to try, but have never been willing to pay the price for because you've thought it was too expensive. Obviously, I don't want you to um, miss uh, your electric bill because you, you tried this super expensive whiskey, but every now and again, we need to treat ourselves. If you are a whiskey lover and you allow yourself to kind of pay a little bit above what you would normally pay for a pour, um, you're going to enjoy that experience um, uh, and it's just going to be fun. It, uh, hopefully you're, with, you're there with some friends uh, and you can talk about it, maybe pass it around. Maybe you, you split it if it's that expensive. Uh, and it doesn't even have to be the most expensive thing on the list, right? Like, um, it's not about the, the actual cost. It's about that experience of trying something that normally you wouldn't spend the money on um, just kind of forget about that aspect of how much it costs and enjoy that you're drinking something that you normally wouldn't get a chance to drink. If you're like me and you tend to be a little bit more frugal uh, on most things, um, you can go and you can look at those price lists at, at, at those bars and you can just be like, no, it's not happening. Um, but again, you have that one time, you treat yourself uh, and you you have that experience and it's going to be worth it. So that is the number one whiskey that I think you should try before you die. All right, everybody, thanks again for watching. Let me know, what do you think of my list? Uh, what is your list? What, even if you don't have all 10, what are some things that you think people should try before they die? Uh, and hopefully, again, 
That doesn't happen for a long, long time. Because you need to be around so you can still watch my videos, like my videos, comment, subscribe, all of those fun things. Uh, you can follow Burner Baby uh, on all the social media platforms. Again, I really appreciate your support. And again, please give a shout out to Zbiotics for sponsoring today's video. Use code Bourbon and a Baby at zbiotics.com slash bourbon and a baby to get 15% off.